This is just some of the damage left behind after a flood ravaged downtown Beattyville the first weekend in March. Melting ice and snow combined with heavy rain over that weekend was the perfect storm ahead of historic flooding. Main Street in Beattyville was under four to five feet of water, including the Lee County Farm Bureau office. Agent Robbie McKinney says he plans to start over. Pretty much, we've lost pretty much everything. Um, our plan is we're going to tear out walls all the way to the studs, and we're going all the way down the floor as a concrete slab, so we're going all the way down to there. But McKinney, who has lived in Beattyville for about a year, was buoyed by the spirit of the people that came to help. UK College of Agriculture, Food and Environment students from the AGR fraternity spent two days in eastern Kentucky helping with the cleanup because so many of them are from the area. And they said, boys, it's bad down here, we need help. And uh, these small communities, they, they truly do run America. And uh, I, I grew up in a small community and it's always good to just give back to people that helped you. A group of 19 from UK's AGR fraternity spent a day in Beattyville and Manchester, another town washed away by the flooding. Wyatt Lucas is from Beattyville, where he grew up. He made calls to his fraternity brothers to see who could come and help. I just kind of went through the fraternity, called every single brother, and many of them were, were more than willing to help as long as they weren't somewhere else or working. So, and some took off work even to be able to be here. So it was a, it was a huge compliment to me. We uh, definitely look out for each other. The fraternity also raised $300, which was used to buy cleaning supplies for flood victims. Similar efforts were taking place at the Wolf County Extension office nearby, where agents were collecting and organizing cleaning and farm supplies. We've gotten so far a pallet of sweet feed, but we'll also be getting quite a bit of hay coming in. We've got some fencing supplies and more of that will be on the way. And we would like to move out this stuff as quickly as possible because people need it right now. So we'd like to get that moved out of our building and in the hands of people that need it. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.